I might need a drop of album for the Grammys, like, yeah, 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 yeah. channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so as you can see here's the final product of my passion twist and just how they turned out and the process of doing these twists in my hair was super easy so if you want to figure out how you can do them on your own then continue watching so I'm gonna start off by showing you guys what products I'm gonna be using for this hairstyle so for my leave-in conditioner I'm gonna be using this okay Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner and this will just be of course to moisturize my hair and make sure that it stays hydrated while it's in these twists and then along with that I'm gonna be using this Shea Moisture Jamaican black castor oil, strengthen and restore, anti breakage spray, and this will be another thing to just make sure my hair stays strong and moisturized while it's in these twists. And then to seal in that moisture, I'm gonna be using this O Natural Beauty Organic Growth Oil. And then to just slick down my roots and everything, I'm gonna be using this Wet Line Extreme Gel. And then I also just have these black rubber bands, and that's what I'm gonna be using since I do the rubber band method. Then I just have like different clips and my rat tail comb for when I do all these parts. And then for the hair itself, I have a couple of packs of this water wave hair. This one is 18 inches and I got it off of Amazon so I'll insert a screenshot of the exact one that I bought and I'll also leave that down in the description. And then I'm also going to be using my little crochet tool. I don't have that with me at the moment but once I actually start doing the twist then I'll go grab that. And yeah so the first step is obviously to make all the parting and make all the little rubber band sections. And I forgot to mention but I am working on freshly washed hair right now and my hair is still pretty damp but as I'm doing all these parts it'll dry up. And you can start on blow dried hair but for my hair texture it works fine if I just start on freshly washed hair and I already have that leave-in conditioner applied to my hair and I just use a pretty good amount on both sections so the first part you want to make is from ear to ear so you just want to start at one ear and kind of make a U shape all the way down to the other ear and I also have this little handheld mirror and you can't see in the camera now but my big mirror is right here so I'm gonna use this to just make sure that my parts are like mostly straight okay this is what my first part looks like and it's far from perfect but it's good enough so I'm gonna split this section in half into two different rows. Alright, so I have this other row sectioned off now and now we can start sectioning off the small little squares. So the rubber banding process is super simple. You just want to start off by sectioning off the first piece and then it's going to take a little bit of the gel. You don't need a lot since the sections are so small and just put it towards the root and make sure that it's slicked down. And then I'm just going to take the little rubber band and tie up this section. And you want to make sure that you don't tie it too tight because you obviously don't want to like pull your hair too much or make your scalp hurt or anything. So I just wrapped it around a couple times and that's enough to keep my hair nice and secure. For this first row, I just did three sections and you can see that they're all pretty much the same size and you want to make sure that all your squares are about the same size. And it's important to make sure that they're all about the same size because that'll determine how your twists are spaced out. So now I'm just going to do the same thing to this next row, but instead of doing three boxes, I'm going to do four. So I have this second row done and as you can see, I use these little barrettes just to keep these sections together and make sure they don't get in my way of other sections. So I just made another U-shaped part and this one goes from like around the peak of my eyebrow on each side and then of course all the way around. Now I'm just going to repeat that same process of making the little square boxes. So for this next part you can see that I just made another U-shape but this one is obviously a lot skinnier compared to the other parts. Also since it's towards the top of my head I'm making the parts a lot cleaner now. So that's why I just like line barrettes up on the edge of this part right here to make sure that it stays super straight since it's the top of my head going to be a lot more visible and I want to make sure that the visible parts actually look really good. Alright, so I have all these sections done and I just tied it back so that it would be out of my way and now I can do this last middle section. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clean up this middle part and you want to make sure that the middle part is super clean because out of all your parts it'll be the most visible one. So on both sides I have room to make four different sections and you want to make sure that all of the parts line up on both sides and that'll just make your style look a lot neater. So I'm going to go ahead and section off these parts and and then we can start the twist. Alright, so a couple hours passed and I finished the entire back of my hair. And now I'm going to actually show y'all how you can do the twist. So first I'm going to take one of my sections and I'm just going to dampen it a little bit with my water bottle. Then I'm taking this anti-breakage spray that I mentioned earlier and I'm just going to spray this through this section. And then I'm going to make sure that this section is completely detangled. And then lastly I'm going to take just a little bit of this oil and put it on my ends to make sure that they stay moisturized. And I'm not putting any oil on my scalp just because as I'm 
I'm gonna keep this protective style in. I'll be oiling my scalp. So I don't want too much product to already be on my roots. And then you wanna take your little crochet needle and just make sure that this part is closed. And you can stick it through the top of your rubber band. And then you wanna take two pieces of hair and stagger them so that one side is short and then one side is long. And just put this needle through the little hook and close it and pull it through. And you don't want to pull it through all the way, just pull it through so it makes a little loop. And then I take the two shorter strands and I pull them through this loop and that's what's going to make the knot. And then once you pull it through, you can just pull it to tighten that knot. So then you want to split it in half and again have the shorter strands on one side and the longer strands on the other side. And you want to split your actual hair in half too. And as you're twisting, you want to make sure you have a nice grip on the hair to make sure that the twist is actually tight. And then you can just start twisting as you would a normal twist. And you want to just continue the twist pretty much all the way down. And then at the end of the twist, you can just leave out that little curl. And that's it. That's pretty much the entire process. It's pretty easy, but it just is time consuming. And on this next twist, I'll just zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. mention this but when you're preparing your strands of hair you can just glide your fingers over it to make it just a little bit frizzy and that'll add some more body to your twists Alright, so I finally finished all of these twists and I'm happy with how it turned out. And tomorrow morning I'm going to show you guys the final reveal of these twists and I'll show you guys like the full length of them and after I do my edges and all that. So I'll record that in the morning and give you guys the final reveal. Alright y'all, so it's the next day and here's what my hair is looking like and here's the full length of them. The hair I used was 18 inches, so this is how long it is on me. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video. And comment down below any other video ideas you have for me and I'll try my best to get those done for y'all. And it could be hair related, not hair related, whatever you want and I'll try to get that done. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.